On the side of the pen is the power switch. It has settings for off, low, and high. Next to the power switch is the control port where you can plug in three doodler accessories. Along the end of the pen is the light bar. This lights up to indicate when the pen is turned on and ready for doodling. The back end of the pen features a vent for airflow, the power port where you plug your three doodler in, and the plastic receiver where you insert your doodle strands. The extrusion controls are located on the front face of the pen. The larger button is for faster extrusion, and the smaller button is for slower extrusion. On the opposite side is the maintenance cover. This is a clear piece of plastic that offers a view inside the pen so that you can see how much plastic you have left. It can also be removed to access the inside of the pen in case you need to clear any blockages. Finally, the nozzle. The nozzle heats up and allows plastic to extrude out with pinpoint accuracy. The nozzle gets very hot. Do not touch it. Even after the pen is turned off, it can stay hot for a few minutes.